Oh, we're looking suave. Look oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A very um, professional topic to discuss today. So, you know, I figured I'd so get it. Miami Vice. It's Miami Vice time. Yeah. Don Johnson. Yeah. That's, that's me. That's what they call me. Right. Right. So, you ready to <laughs> <laughs> expound on uh, the topic, which is yoga pants? Oh, yes. Uh, what have you got to say? What have you got to say about yoga pants? Get a, the the heart shaped, um, you know the big the big heart, uh, heartbeat like the wolves uh, and Betty Boop and whatnot. That's that's how I feel about yoga pants. No, no. Um, you know I'm a man. I'm like you know uh, I'm flesh and blood, Brendan. Uh, you know what can you do, right? So uh, <laughs> you're separate. You're, so you're saying um, for 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 your part, it's all thumbs up. No, 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 no. I, I'm oh, saying, right. you know, you gotta, you gotta do the compliment sandwich, right? Not really, right. but I mean, let's see. It's basically this way of making sexuality a normal, everyday part of existing in you know your public life and uh, a way of uh, you know uh... <laughs> <laughs> you're really uh, you're really on the spot with the with the <laughs> waxing uh, loquacious on the uh, on the yoga pants <laughs> yeah i mean you know you uh what is there to say about it <laughs> <laughs> what is there to say? Fucking well, it's true. I mean, it's all, it's all very cynical because, you know, the only yes. reason we're doing this, well, not the only reason. I mean, a big part of the reason is that the one video I put up that had sex in the title was like perform better than, you know, pretty ah, much all the others. Right. Now we're talking. So, yeah. So we're <laughs> wantonly cynical, obviously like hucksters, or at least I yes. am. Oh, and, yeah. You know, it's all just, yeah. just it's, well, although it's more of an experiment, that thing. But, it's not that I haven't said things about yoga pants or that I have nothing to say either. Yeah. Um, we'll go at it. Okay. So <sighs> gather my, my, my brilliant thoughts on the subject. Well, you've more or less covered it. I mean, there's a two, it's a double edged sword. So let's say <laughs> as a man, <laughs> it can be hard at times to complain about them. Yes. Or at least there's a brief moment where it's like <laughs> you're stricken by the yoga pants, like a flash of lightning, you know, and it's like, uh, you know, and you, uh, you don't feel like complaining about it, let's say. But uh, overall, sartorially speaking, or as a, an indication of, you know, aesthetics and, you know, ideas in society, it is definitely a over-sexualized. It's really just like the packaging of ass mm -hmm. in like the, the ultimate final word, apart from just being like a naked ass. It, it's really, it's a tool of the thought. The, the thought is the one who- The thought, yes. the young The young woman who wants to get maximum ass impact uh is run to runs to the yoga pants but yes. then uh, that was problematic enough really because it's, it's like what is it it's like a stretchy plastic uh fiber thing and it's all very it's a bit it's just it's, it's too you know women can be impactful and sexy without being quite so it's, it's like, like a wonder brawl for the bare ass, ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like a wonder so, brawl you know, for the ass is what it is so we might say animalistically speaking you know at the gym <laughs> or other places you know there's times where it's like okay it's effective, let's say. It mm -hmm. can be effective, at least for a moment. But then the fact is, every single woman in the world, at least for a while there, I haven't noticed as much lately, maybe just because it's winter, I don't know. But it seemed like for many years, every woman, young, old, uh, outrageously obese, you know, uh, you know, stick thin, <laughs> every, every single one would be in yoga pants anywhere you went at any given time. So it became a quite a... Uh, outrageous uh, uh fashion phenomenon you know so i do uh, I, yeah so that it was a, just another it was that kind of trend catching thing that consumes the world at least in terms of like women and their fashion i guess but yeah, know, let me break it down, break it down. <laughs> historically uh the trend started in 1998 this is when it uh, started to rise in prominence due to the influx of 
people yes. practicing yoga and um, you know right. Eastern spirituality and. Oh, yeah. but, uh, and I've done the yoga. I, I actually I do I like the yoga. I've done it. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I've done it a bit. No, it's been years, but I, I remember it is good. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. against yoga itself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't sure. even I don't even think of the actual yoga part of it. I just think that I mean that's just what they call them. I didn't think. Sure. You know. Did they? Did the design come from India? The was, oh no was no it, no! It came from it? Lululemon, a ah, right, company right. that did it. Uh, they right. they created the, the yoga pants, or at least they popularized it. And basically, the initiative was to deformalize uh, everyday attire, which is always you know we're we're very we're very much a fan of this behavior, right? Mm. Yeah. 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 So it's just part of another. Yeah. So it's just an obvious manipulation of uh yeah of culture. Mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a good double blow because it over sexualizes and it has a sort of conformist mass appeal and it definitely um deformalizes yes deformalization yes. your public dress put the zation on there that adds more syllables we sound deformalize more, that. nice we yeah. so, sound more smarter -er, you know mm. it's good yeah deformalization so yeah <laughs> that's, the, that's the cancerous part of it and um let's just speak for a minute the real it, this tragedy really hits home when you see the all the various uh variety of like i said sizes and ages involved in the phenomenon i've seen aged <laughs> chromes, you know tightly packaged ass of like like you know a completely sort of fallen decrepit you know like bony hips and like sagging flesh kind of thing Yes. And just proudly going around this super tight, you know, uh, saran, you know, <laughs> sealed ass. I've seen, you know, en enormous women wearing them and like, not just enormous, some of them, but some ones with like, you know, ones where you, you would think, you know, nothing against them or anything, but you wouldn't think would have anything, any reason to be showing off, uh, this asset of theirs <laughs> asset, <laughs> this asset. liability, let's say. <laughs> well, okay. But it's like not only not only were they it's what you know these ones you see certain you know God bless them four things but they'd be like huge big giant wide hips and yet still the ass is like completely flat so it's like a it's like a giant wide hips but then there's just like a plateau with like a, a bizarre crevice and it's just like the most unappealing version of an ass let's say and yet still there it is tightly wrapped in front of you in the line at the grocery store or something it's like okay you know yep. why why is if you're going to wear yoga pants you have to. You know, you have to be a squatter. You have to do squats, and that has to be mandatory. Well, I think the only the only occasion we can allow it to, to be done is during like workouts, yoga, and it must be made of cotton or something, not this you know, plastic fiber stuff. No well, plastic, it just gets the axe outright. There would be no more plastic. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what would you replace it with uh, publicly, if you could? What era of fashion would you would you wrap the ass in? Because we're not, <laughs> you know, we're not the types to not want to see a shapely woman now and then, you know. Uh, you no, know, I'm I'm a I'm it, a it summer, seems like I'm a okay, summer sorry. dress kind of man personally. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I like really, that. Yeah, you can put them in almost anything. They tend, they look if they're of the of the right age and just you know uh, taking care of themselves, they they look good in anything. You could wrap them in a burlap sack or like. You know, make them, yes, make them a shingle dress out of wood or something. It would they'd still look good. Yeah, so they don't you've seen them. you've seen Troll Two, right? The uh, goblins <laughs> that wear the potato sacks. Oh uh, yeah, Troll Two. That's the the by the Italian guy, and it's got nothing yeah. to do with troll. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Italian guy that couldn't speak English. Yes, that. Yeah, one. yeah, and he's like yeah. trolls, goblins, whatever. It's yeah. not, the movie's not even about trolls. It's no. trolls. Too. Yeah, yeah. Troll, yeah, Troll Two. You know. Yeah, we'll come out with a whole line of potato sacks for um, vivacious uh, females. And uh, I think that'll... I know what women want, you know? Do yeah. Especially when it comes to fashion. And uh, it's... <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm kidding. It's what? I, uh... Kid then, what? Let's hear it. Yeah, kidding. Uh, I think yeah, women like uh, to laugh. Um, well, they okay. They, like they don't sure. like being made a joke out of. I'll say that much. Right. So there'll be some women be outraged, out like incredibly angry over the comments I've already made about uh, crones and plateau asses. They'd be like, oh, yeah. it's okay, you know that. Oh, this is gonna that. piss a lot of people off. You which figure, reminds yeah? me. Yeah, I, I uh, 
that reminds me. I got another thing uh, that I noticed because I got a buddy um, that tells that we've had this discussion before that uh, we, I noticed that the, the rise of prominence of yoga pants also rose where with the advent of uh, human resource departments being uh, concentrated on the three, three, uh, you know, main, main, uh, uh, problems to beat, which is, you know, um, racism, extremism, and, uh, sexual harassment. And when sexual harassment started to rise in popularity is when the yoga pants started to really take off. I was wondering if there's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, but and like, then, that's the thing. They want, they want to be able to, they want to be, they want to free. They want to be free to get that maximum ass impact <laughs> yes. you know, without any without any of the any other repercussions and you know that's just fair enough to a certain degree but uh yeah there's something like the idea that anyone could impose dress codes anywhere for any reason like you know you now one thing i noticed i was watching an older movie there and it was uh what was the movie i don't remember now and it was like it showed and i've seen notice them and you see them all, all the time in older movies where to be like an, an, in the evening the gentleman and his lady friend will go out to a sort of a cabaret type place or like a almost las vegas -y, but more like in any in any given town there'd be like a place with like red lounges and a little like uh lamp in the middle of the table and it'll be sort of dark and there'll be like you know music playing and they have drinks kind sure. of thing you know what i mean but it's like a yeah. seated uh, cordial people are smoking this kind of what what do you call that? I guess like a lounge. Noir, right? Whatever it was, yeah. There'd be lots of like those just don't exist anymore, do they? You don't just go. There's either like a bar with like mm -hmm. a bar and like a TV showing sports ball, yeah, or a club with loud dance music. Like there's yep. nothing else, right? Country music with 808 and. Uh, I was thinking yeah. about how yeah, our country music, yeah, but um. <laughs> no, with 808, the uh, the the what's 808? Beats. It's the 808? you know the yeah the rap beats uh, that they. I, I you know, yeah, that's what it is. Come on, Brendan, you you're a man of culture, you know. But these lounge places, I'm thinking of, like even the way you're dressed now would not be good enough. They'd be there'd be a dress oh. code. It'd be, like, it'd be well, it'd be good, but you need a tie probably. Oh, that kind of place. So all these yeah. places would have dress codes. Be like, you can't come in here with yoga pants. Or... Like a hobo like me right now, right? <laughs> well, your 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 eyes certainly wouldn't make it. You could maybe throw a tie <laughs> on, but you need a collar probably. Or, I don't know. If you had a white shirt with a tie, you'd make it. In. Yeah, no, I mean, sure, absolutely. I uh, I don't uh, have that available, so I dr dress like a Seinfeld character today for the show. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> also, uh, one thing, what I was discussing, me and my friend were discussing, is that he noticed on the days on the construction site when uh, the um, the architects would uh, come to review their their actual physical work you know the, the people that the architects the ones that sit in front of autocad and say or sit in front of the guy sitting in front of autocad and say you know uh, make make this more flat make this less detailed um and make it a cheaper material that those people right they yeah. would come to the site and uh, they would usually the women would be very scantily clad and he would, he started to, to uh, basically interpret that as um, they're taunting them. It was a taunt. It was a behavioral and the women walking, taunt. Women yeah. walking by the site or women working yeah. on the site? Work, Which, women architects would go, or oh, architects women, and architects women, assistants sorry, oh, yeah, would it, go yeah. into the site, dressed yeah. like this around like virile, construction work men you know um yeah. and obviously the culture yeah. of construction work is that of high testosterone and you know a yeah. joking kind of manner uh when when it's not serious and so he started to notice a pattern in this behavior mm. and he brought it to my attention so i figured i would mention that as well well they, there's no doubt that they have a certain they're, they're constantly shit testing let's say so yeah they can be kind of they enjoy at any given time if they're especially in a place where they you know probably shouldn't be <laughs> to push those power play buttons and sort of be belligerent about pushing the limits and throwing hard i didn't want to yeah. say you know um yoga pants uh are 
like quintessentially uh, of this this n- this modern aesthetic that you know flies into politics. I mean, I I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see political figures um, you know uh, twerking at the Super Bowl in yoga pants. Uh, this, well, yeah, this is I kind would of stuff I would be. Yeah. This is kind of stuff I would be almost expecting at this point because there is there's no there's no guardian for uh morality or or taste or or you know couthness as my grandmother used to say and uh so yeah i mean how far we can go i mean expressing the outrage alone is in itself a validation for the the uh agenda that is being displayed in yeah. my opinion no i have no doubt you're right i do I honestly believe yeah there'll be twerking there'll be political twerking if there isn't already when we're not even aware of it well i know sure there was know. one ad there was a presidential ad that had like cartoons twerking and that was just exceptional you should definitely look that up it's... so when they yeah because when they twerk they almost <laughs> always they almost always wear the yoga pants don't they it's yoga pants or like a bikini or something yeah, I mean it's it's got to, to get, yeah you have to reveal the the assets. You have to <laughs> reveal the, the the flesh must blob off the bone it per- yes. perfectly up in the in the right but. in the right. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> dancing dancing is already integral to politics. That's been the case since you know at least whatever more more than ten years. I've noticed dancing ever since Ellen Ellen I believe they they really I mean they were dying to just dance before that. But now it's, the, it really the whip and the nay nay. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Do you see that that guy, that guy that created the song, the whip and the nay nay, that uh, Hillary? I don't, even, I don't even know what that is. Like, what is it? it uh, it's some stupid ass dance uh, that uh, they, that Ellen uh, kind of got Hillary Clinton to do, and then um, the creator of that song just uh, murdered his cousin in the street. Um, so that's neat. <laughs> Yeah, right. Awesome, the, yeah. You know, and it, it's set up like this is, you know, one of those things is like this is, this is an empowering dance. This is, this is gonna, <laughs> oh, this is gonna, you know, bring communities yeah. together. You know, the whip and yeah, the that's, nay. It's that wonderful <laughs> symbiosis. It's that wonderful symbiosis of, of, of whip like the, and nay nay together for yeah. you know, universe but, and harmony. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. But um. Yeah, it's the perfect symbiosis we have between the uh, infant, inf- infantilized baby, <laughs> baby world, like dancey time, uh, you know, Montessori, uh, you know, attitude with the sort of carnal, uh, open savagery and death <laughs> and, and violence. Where it, it, there's a meeting point where they bypass all high culture and all intelligent, rational thought, and they come together in the perfect little stupid dance, but people are getting killed at the same time. So you get like a dancing clown, like a fool twerking, uh, just like that meme of like the, the woman playing the flute, basically, <laughs> basically also and in, in uh, over a, a landscape of like destruction and there's smoke. Yeah, it's and, perfect. Uh, it is exemplified in the yoga pants, really, isn't it? The yoga pants is like the unifying factor of like, you know, a babyish attitude to the world where you know I'm going to do whatever I want and you know it's a, it's a big playpen and then but it's also like carnally sexy. And tied in with kind of like you know uh, abandonment of cultural mores about uh, prudence and uh, aesthetics and um, what's the word for you know being uh, not being sexually loose uh, sort of oh, what's the word not prudence chastity but, uh, yeah chaste I guess you know that kind of thing mm-hmm. yeah so it it's, it's it works perfectly it gets all those things at the same time and plus it's plastic. So it's kind of ultimate way Perfect. to wrap, it's the ultimate way to wrap up the modern woman, just to say, you know, <laughs> we are pointless and destructive. Do they babies. sell yoga pants at IKEA? <laughs> well, how could they not? That would be, be perfect. I don't, I don't imagine there's anywhere that doesn't sell them, since every woman in the world wears them. <laughs> like, hey, Twenty-four hours a day. Not know. every woman. I, I know one that doesn't. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, no, not everyone. No, I know. We, yeah, we must make uh, exception for the yes, what ten percent that stays away. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, the ones that we um, you know we have to basically watch all our critiques because it would offend those that uh, you know don't suck. <laughs> yeah. But um, 
Oh, yeah. That's the yoga pants. I don't know what else to say. They're okay. The the design of them, if it's not plastic, would be okay if you were working out and, uh, you know, throwing javelins. But even then, though, you're better off being nude or something more. Better just be naked. <laughs> no? Yes. Yeah. Naked. The, 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 true, the true, the true, the true, the high culture sartorial uh, peaks are as depicted in classical paintings to be either elaborately dressed in like fine robes and highly detailed uh, menagerie of uh, clothing and like hair or basically naked or naked with like sort of a see-through like, you know, see-through silk toga or something. Yes. Right, so you have yeah. classical heroic nudity, or absolute over-the-top richness of clothing, or maybe like a you know, just a sack like a peasant, like I'm wearing. <laughs> I mean, I, I uh, what what can be said? I mean, you know, it's a uh, there's there's nowhere. To go backwards from it, there's nowhere to go forwards from it. it well, is there's the forwards. The forwards. The next step would be, and if I saw them try this briefly, I don't think it caught on, which was to have to wear some kind of sort of stockings uh, that were basically see-through uh, as leggings. I only noticed on, on uh, like certain very young women for like not very long, mm -hmm. and I remember I was like shocked. I was like, so they're basically just you know they are basically now walking around ass out naked. Neat. Uh, it didn't. I, I just noticed it a few times. And it kind of went away. It was too much. I think it didn't count. I know they do flesh-colored spandex. I have seen that and uh, been fucking terrified um, of it before. <laughs> terrified. I mean, it it wasn't on a, a body that you would um you would want it to be on. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, we, we we don't mean to be mean to these characters. If anyone's going to be like, oh, but I mean, for fuck's sake, like we're just saying <laughs> we're not naming names or being specific. Say some random. It's just like if I was, what if I wore fucking yoga pants and like you know, my guts hanging out over the top and I'm going around, like you know, or whatever. It'd be, Who's going to morally police? I would, police I would deserve to be shamed. There's it, like, nobody in the them. society that's going to morally police you, though. Well, yeah, but at least we can have a laugh about it, or you know, remember and think, Jesus, remember that time? Because there's been a lot of you know, there's quite a few shocking occasions with it that the, uplifts the community somehow by dancing mm. we will get the rec center back <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> right right yeah <laughs> so yoga pants yeah i don't know there's not much, not a lot we can say about it we said it all i think i don't know Again, you know, it's not always a cause to complain. It has been, there's been times when it was uh, exciting, I guess, but that's what is to be expected. And that's the whole purpose of it done uh, properly, I guess, uh, let's say. Oh, yeah. Pornography then, culture, too. That's another. But for all, another... for all the moment of excitement we might have got from it, uh, we'd got, got, gladly sacrifice it just to have it go away. And we yeah, would choose, that would be not, cool. we choose not to do that. Yeah, right? neat. Yeah. Have, like, some sort of, uh, yeah, and some sort of, like I said, couthness class. Uh, you know, these things are, are so blase to you know be like, oh, I wish we could have that again because you know that that's that's the critique they use to disseminate all the arguments. Is like, oh, you just want the past. It's like, no, 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 I don't want the past. I want yeah. you know, I want a a, a new way um, viewing. Um, our our details and uh, what our we details. could build our ass our ass details. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> our details. <laughs> well, like so, okay. So, so if we were to try to yes, I agree. We always have to move forward. We cannot be going back. So, but dresses are always nice. You and there's uh, but there's yeah, still varieties. Sure. Of, there's varieties of dresses that you could take um, inspiration from to create a new style of dress for sure. ladies. And there's not just that, there's other options. So like I myself would have a kind of modern pagan attitude of like a, you know, a pagan a garden of the Hesperides where, you know, young women can literally run around naked doing sports and nobody will care. And well, they may be, 
lovely. Like, like, you know, like that scene in, uh, in, uh, Wicker Man. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Except, <laughs> you know, not just that, but like, don't know, but like at doing athletic things and like, sure. No one's uh, like, <laughs> What? And, and and no no that, that too, that too, but like separate maybe and uh, this kind of like I would be all right with that sort of heroic unity but at the same time there's other, the other options okay so there's that there is elaborate elaborate dress of various kinds and various combinations of which there's always options for that as long as you follow the the golden mean the classical classically inspired following of uh, of what is legitimate traditional styles and like morph them together that you can come up with pleasing, aesthetically pleasing new ways to put package a woman in crazy robes and hairstyles. But then the, the, the other option, which would be alarmingly similar to yoga pants, but different would be the sort of sci-fi babe in the tight astronaut suit <laughs> or the, you know, it's like the, uh, I don't, I don't know, like the head to toe leather jumpsuit yes. or something. Yeah, Franzetta shit. Yes, I Fran, definitely. Fra, Franzetta, yeah. Fra, Franzetta, Fra, yeah. Frazetta. Fra, or what's his name? Frank Frazetta. Yeah, Frazetta. Fucking yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, it's those Italian names. You, yeah, too many. You, you want to throw it in a few more? Sounds like so. dessert. That's what it is. <laughs> dessert man. Yeah. Franzipan. But paint uh, neck, yeah. Paint that cake. So that kind of thing would be even more accept. So why why is that more acceptable to us than the yoga pants? I guess because we know, because it's not uh, like the Buck Rogers girl with the. I know. would say what I notice is, uh, I uh, when I lived in West Hollywood, the people I would talk to that were yoga enthusiasts um, were um, some of the the most just vacant people I've ever met, and that's that's always what kind of. Uh, comes to mind when I when I think about yoga pants I think of these adrift people these these like just you know these uh, these shells of consciousness that uh, I would have to um, try and talk to and and uh, w you know wriggle money out of and it was very fucking difficult that's what I think of a lot of the time so I'd say you know it, it just comes with uh, it, it's like um, you know, a band could be good that's at Hot Topic, but it because it's at Hot Topic, you're like, oh, fuck. You know, <laughs> it's like that. It, that's the kind of feeling I get. Well, I didn't. I don't have the same quite attitude towards yoga or people that do. I know that they there's a lot of oh, fruity. Say, I said yoga. Did I say yoga or yoga pants? I meant yoga pants. But yeah. Oh, yoga pants, right. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. yeah but yeah, you, you wear those and you do yoga, you know. Yeah, there's a certain, um, there's a certain new agey... Uh, fruity element there uh, as well but um yeah i mean west hollywood you know it's probably different if it's you know just you in your um living room doing the thing but uh well you know, um alistair crowley, alistair crowley was a big fan of uh yoga in fact i think he wrote a book on it and yeah his version was to go back to the uh, the yeah ancient Indo Indo European, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and practice magic, and then he would like do it, and then you know do his you know have sex with a man or some horrible thing. Yeah, or ghosts. Yeah. I remember I read something. He said he fucked a bunch of ghosts. So I was like, that's yeah, a, that's a thing. That's <laughs> uh, I don't know how you accomplish that, but he's funny that guy. I, I like some of the things he would say, and I some of it I do not like at all. Yeah, of course. But uh, interesting guy, I guess. Yeah, he was interesting. Would he, he, would was... he wear yoga pants today? I wonder. Would he be a male yoga pants wearer? He probably would, I guess. Uh, that, he wouldn't give a shit about that. I mean, he <laughs> would, or maybe he. No, I can't say that. He wouldn't. He he would be horrified by plastic and and these modern trinkets, these modern conven convenience artifacts would not make him happy. You know, I mean, that's another thing that I don't know if it's just subject to modernity that uh, you know I say an accent sounds kind of crude and um, you know maybe a little spurgy but uh, plastic uh, is is uh, here to stay and so maybe there's a way to you know use it in, in, in manners that we can be um, excited about aesthetically maybe you know well, I don't know it's it's very weird because it was always it's been around for a long time it was around in the late end of the 19th century it wasn't used sure. in this mass scale until the 
till it became sold as convenience items in the around the time around the seventies. It became oh, okay. they thought, oh yeah, we're going to use it for everything. We're going to package everything in it, and it's that just escalated to a ridiculous because it was yeah, it's a useful um, substance to use sparingly uh, here and there. Sure, but like everything, like all your clothes, all your food, like everything is using plastic now, and all this most of the stuff we buy is plastic, and it like you know if it breaks, you can't fix it, and all this shit, and it's everywhere, right. and it's spoiling everything. But um, what was I gonna say? Um. Oh, I had a point. I lost it again. <laughs> As usual. That's how it goes. Uh, oh, no, it's gone again. <laughs> hey. Oh, no, it's plastic. Anyways, it's shite. Uh, overall. Although, you're, like, you're right, it's useful, and then we're stuck with it. Well, we're stuck with it in so much as, like, see, even lately I noticed in, like, pencils, in pencil crayons and pencils. Yeah. When you pair it down, there's a, new, there's a lining of plastic now in between the wood and the color, or the lead, or the graphite. Which, you know, obviously the pencils worked just fine for a long time without that. So the way it gets overused now is reaching a crescendo of desperation to use it. It seems, it feels like, so that it's because it's oh. as a byproduct as, as a byproduct of the oil industry. It's obviously, you know, because if they can make a product like a pencil crayon without it, and they did for mm -hmm. many many decades and, and ages, and mm -hmm. then to suddenly start using it pointlessly inside that. Like, what is the reason for that? Because it's surely that comes at an, as an extra expense. Yeah, so that's that's the yoga pants. We said absolutely everything you could possibly say about it. I mean, yeah. I think we didn't think of it like esoterically. Esoteric ass. <laughs> Esoteric. <laughs> that's the name of the that's the name of the show right there. <laughs> Esoteric ass. Yeah. You know, the uh because it is mesmerizing. We could you know it there is the mesmer like as we said, we had to, for for all our complaints, we had to admit uh, begrudgingly the times it affected us oh i got something all right hold up yeah so also uh yoga pants uh come at the time where the focus of sexuality is going from uh you know the boobs and face and and in the front to the back that's another another thing you notice well. It always that, was a bit. That that always was a factor, but yeah, maybe it became more. It was a one factor, day. but it's it's highly focused now. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want to get real real detailed with it because you know, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that's true. I mean, um, you know, you could say these things are anything can be manufactured, including mass forms of sexual desire. Maybe mass ass. Uh, worship. Yeah, like in um ancient That's Rome, word, right? Like say back in Rome, you it wasn't there was no such thing as lesbians because <laughs> you weren't having sex unless there was a <laughs> yeah. penis ejaculate. Yeah, you're gonna be able to post that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying though, in terms of um, you know, <laughs> views, views, views to sex, how they can change. Right. right. Like that so that, that sounds weird. <laughs> To us, uh, but like that's apparently the way it was, and uh, I mean it's true now too. Like it's not fucking. Like, it's no, right. Okay, yeah, it's, it's always been true. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking lie. It's always been. True. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. But anyways, so you know, <laughs> these, these tastes it can change. This is the yes. esoteric cultural view to to ass and the yoga pants. But um. You know, the ass is a powerful tool. It's a powerful tool. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, it's almost their only... Well, I mean, there's not their only one, but it's it, it's a powerful old tool. And they use it to maximum effect these days. Uh, mostly, successfully. Yeah. Uh, well, not most. Some. What am I saying? Very few, in fact. Most are disaster. <laughs> <laughs> all. Just, no, wait a minute. Not all. Some. <laughs> <laughs> some. Very few. <laughs> yeah, hardly any. But I mean, they are impactful. <laughs> those ones are impactful. Like it strikes you. It's like a lightning bolt. But the other ones, you know, they strike you like just a wave of depression and. Uh